What's up guys? I uh, said that I would do an update on the truck here and I came home today and I was pretty excited climbing up my driveway. There was two big black patches laying there on the hill and yeah, I'll show you. Cleaned up the truck today. Went to the town. As you can see, it's hard to keep it clean with uh, a driveway like this. We gotta get some gravel in there. But anyways, as you can see, a lot cleaner than my other video. She looks pretty good with that chrome trim on. It's starting to really uh, grow on me around there. Looking a lot better. But here we go. This is the newest uh, thing for the Cummins. I'm pretty excited about it. I think these tires are going to look a lot better than uh, these old all-terrains. But uh, shoot me a thumbs up. And if I get a bunch of thumbs up on this video, I'm going to, I think, make a video get a nice photo shoot done of me doing a burnout in this thing and roasting off these all terrains. So if you would like to see that, give me a bunch of subscribes and I will roast off these tires right here. I'm gonna find a good spot to do it and I'm gonna roast them off. I might even swap to the front, roast them off before I get these new tires on. So anyways, there's no 20 by 12s going on it right now, but I need some tires to get me through. So uh, I'm gonna show you here. We got, these in stock right here, these bad boys. 285, 75, 16 Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. I've heard good reviews about them in the summer and winter, so the all terrains wore off quick in the summer. People say the Goodyears wear off quick in the summer. Whatever, I'm going to try them. I know a few people that run them and they have great luck with them. So that's what I'm going to try. And I really like the pattern. Uh, like I said earlier, since I'm in Canada, it's really hard to get Nito. Uh, all those like nice branded tires and not that I really want to run them on like it's not a 33 12 and a half 20 or anything I'm gonna I'm not gonna run them on the factory tires anyways like Terra grapplers or something so uh, yeah I got these here that's them 285 75 16s and I'll show you I'll make a video for you guys that are a fan of GM's uh, my dad's on the wagon now he needed some for his business he's delivering docks in and out of lakes and he's on a lot of sketchy launches so he wanted something a little bit better than his highway tires so he uh, got some 275 60 20 dirt tracks also and we're gonna get those mounted up on his 20 inch factory Silverado 2014 rims and uh, we'll show you what they both look like we're gonna be putting a leveling kit in his truck to clear those tires because they're just a little bit taller they're a true 33 just like these 285s are very close to true 33 when you convert it from metric over to standard so yeah that's an update on the truck uh, we got her washed we're gonna get you a video of these uh, tires once they get put on and I'm pretty excited about it it's gonna look awesome and uh, yeah, there she is, all cleaned up, and uh, I recently had some comments saying that I should get some tow mirrors for the truck. I think that's a great idea. I've been looking for some, so if you're in Ontario and you have something that's an OEM set of Dodge mirrors, I want them. Give me a shout. We'll make a deal, but I don't want any of these cheap aftermarket ones. I tried them and they flapped. The glass fell out. I couldn't adjust them. I need to find some OEM ones, but I don't want to pay $800 for a set of mirrors either. Right from Dodge. So anyways, there's an update on uh, me and my truck. That'll be vlog too. Hope you liked it. And next time you see it, if you guys give me enough likes and uh, subscribes, we're going to, I'm hoping for at least 50. That's what I want. If you got, get me enough, I'm hopefully going to roast off these tires if you guys get me enough and we'll have a video on me roasting off those tires there front and back possibly see how many likes I get how much work I want to put into swapping them and then we're gonna get those dirt tracks mounted and I'll make a fitment video of how the 285s uh, fit on these stock rims and clear perfectly over say a 305 might rub just a little bit but these are good for a daily driving tire so we'll show you them for for now guys we're out and I'll see you next time have a good one thanks again for the support Thank you.